So we find that we really need to remind people all the time about conflicts that have a potential of getting much worse, conflicts that could get better, they have opportunities for resolution, and then those that are ignored that need simply to be put back on the table of policymakers, decision makers, media, and, and civil society. And we find that this list is a wake-up call often for people who may be thinking about something else. And by reminding people that we hope to mobilize from ordinary citizens, all the way up to presidents and heads of state, they can make a difference if they think about the conflicts that matter. Well, I think what's probably more surprising is how many are repeats. And that's not a good news story. It means that conflicts such as the conflict in Afghanistan or the conflict in Yemen or the conflict in Venezuela keeps going on because not enough attention is paid to them or because the wrong kind of attention is paid. And the fact that they come back year after year should tell us that we need to do more and we need to do things differently. So that's part of our job as at Crisis Group to make recommendations. Then there are some new conflicts, conflicts that have not been on the radar screen before. And the one that I'd mentioned, because it is a novelty for us, the first time I think in the history of us doing these, uh, these lists, is a transnational threat, a transnational risk climate change. We chose to put it on the list because not the impact that climate change is having, not just in terms of weather patterns, but in terms of exacerbating conflict risks, is something that we're noticing in the field day in, day out, and it's only getting worse. Oh, I wish that there were none, but we have far more candidates than we have uh, countries that make the final cut. And we know that we're missing some that we should be put on the table. In the end, what we aim for is to look at those where we think there's the gravest risk of things getting worse. Those where we think there's a real opportunity to, if not resolve the conflict, at least mitigate the harm it's doing. And those, again, that we need to simply remind people are still going on, are still ongoing, because there's a tendency after a while to simply forget the conflicts that don't make the headlines. And our job is to put a spotlight even on those conflicts that people ignore.